hey guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy jipran i'm back again with another tutorial today i have a nice zook tutorial here whereby we are going to start from scratch we are going to start from scratch making something from nothing so we are going to start from scratch showing you how to create a nice zook bit then we call it another day so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel make sure that you subscribe to the channel because this tutorial got a lot of education rather than skills so let's start picking up this tutorial so we shall start with what shall we start let me start with the codes first the first thing you should adjust is your tempo so i'll work with 85 i want to work with 85 and then after that i'm just gonna load my nexus here nexus go straight to piano and choose nexus grand piano soft i'm gonna turn low reverb then i'll just roll to the piano roll like that then i'll start drawing my chords I'll not use a media controller and I want to give some knowledge to my subscribers, my loyal fans. And so I'll just be drawing the codes, everything from the beginning to the end. I'll not use any media controller. So I'll start by drawing like that. As you can see, it's very simple. Yeah. Very simple chord. So I'll just Select that, then pitch it up by one octave. That's rather than pitch. Nope. Let me just leave it here. So those are the chords. But the shouting so alt x and bring down the multiply this one just bring it down and accept then alt r to randomize like that turn off this then play with the velocity here like that so i'll have something like this Very simple chord. Very simple, very simple. So the next thing here, I'll start. I'll load another Nexus like that. Go to piano and choose Sun Piano. Turn down the reverb and also the delay up to five don't grasp numbers just randomize everything so i'll paste my codes here copy these ones copy like that then paste there then i will control a to select everything then shorten those i'll bring the velocity up like that then i will squeeze these things like that then this one so i'll have something like this this one too this 
one is too high so i'll send these ones to the mixer then bring down the velocity transfer that pattern to the playlist like that then i'll add another pattern to start working on my drums so let's go to the samples i have a drum kit compa here for the zook i'll start adding the kick i have this compa, compa kick here i'll start adding it there then four step like that four step all right all right all right this one is looping so turn off that so i got that but i'll turn it off then go to pattern number three i want to add some snares and congas percussion then music is very simple as you can see i'm just adding some things like here yeah, go there like that very simple so I start at by adding a rim. I'll not use a rim from here. I use from jabs to kit. Then go to rims. I'll use this one. Then I I put it like this. Very simple. I'll go back to my compal samples. I'll choose a stick here. Turn off the loop. Copy this one. Uh, copy and paste. So I have two rim shots there. Then I'll go to pattern number, not pattern, rather than I'll add some congas here. This one. So I need a conga, so I'll just Go back to the pattern. I want it to be like this. Uh, nope. Yes, very simple like that. Then I'll choose this one. Transfer it here. Yes. Then I'll go to this pattern. Uh, not pattern. Uh, that sample. Then choose this one like this. Or something like this just copy pasting the snare pattern like that but i'll add that one then go here graphic editor turn that one. Yes, very simple like that. Still too high.
then I'll add uh, some highlights. some hi hats I don't know what's going on here with my FL studio I'm some I'm uh, just seeing some crazy shit going around okay sorry the language not friendly okay so I want to arrange this one like this okay it's an open one so I'll just drop it here and here then turn it down yes very simple like that then I'll add this one turn that looping Just copy this loop, paste it there. I'm done with the percussion here. Something is off with the first pattern here. I'll add a nylon guitar here. I just need a guitar. That the third thing that I want to add. Now that I'll copy this pattern, paste it in this sampler with an empty, paste it there, control A to copy, shift and left click your mouse, then control down arrow on your keyboard, control A to copy again, left click, sh shift left click, then control down arrow two times, control A again, and shift left click, then that's up control up arrow like four times so that you can have some ghost view so this is just a sampler that doesn't have anything here an empty sample so if I, play, if I play this pattern it's empty so i'll just add contact here i just need contact 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 i have a contact so i load a contact library which has nylon guitar, soft nylon guitar. So we shall have to wait because my computer, I think, is slow, but nothing to worry about. Everything shall be fine, man. So there's a lot in music career. You should just think about your creativity. It's just, music is all about your creativity. I'll repeat this and this and all the time. Music is all about creativity, your creativity, what you want. So today we are learning on Zook. So tomorrow maybe we shall learn on other things. This is from scratch. I don't know what I'm going to make. So I'll just load this soft nylon guitar there. Wait it to load. Then I'll start arranging my patterns. So like that. Mm -hmm. So I've been trying so hard to make Swahili tutorials. But you guys, Swahili is not that easy. So I'll just turn off the third pattern, second pattern, the kick and the snare. So actually we did notice the kick and the snare with the first pattern. So 
So let's add that nylon guitar, but we shall turn this off. Then go to the fourth pattern here. Then add that nylon guitar. I'll need some more reverb. Okay, 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 okay. I'll need some reverb here. Reverb. More. Then I'll just go to my piano roll like that. Then arranging these patterns like that. So that's how I come up with my guitar melody. Okay, this guitar, I'll have to change this one because it doesn't have that vibe which I need. like that man perfect then I'll just copy this one paste it here just make sure that you align them with your ghost Viewers, yeah. Just bring them down like that. This one here, and this one there. Then have a listen to that. There. Perfect. We are heading there copy that last pattern but just change these three notes because this one is the last I'll just keep it simple like that. Then we go to the next part. And yeah, we can have a listen with the drums or the groove here. So let's have a listen to this. So remember to save your work to mine. I haven't saved it. So I'll just save that one. And I'll uh, write Zook. To to zook to torio to to torio by G pro 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 G pro G pro then <laughs> don't know what's going on with my head today but I'm not in the vibe but again I should give you this tutorial because I'm back and I want to assure you that I'm back so I'm giving you this tutorial how long is it because I'm talking too much 20 minutes okay the next thing here which we want to add is the bass line then we start arranging this beat 
So let's add that nice bass line. So you wanna copy? Okay, I'll just cut here. Control C to cut that. This ghost viewing thing here. Then paste it to another pattern. And just drop it there like that. Then I start adding my bass line. So I load another Nexus because I love Nexus so much. I'll go to XP Guitars then choose Ebuzz. This Ebuzz one. We shall start with that one. Then if it doesn't bring any sense, we shall transfer it to another. Okay, actually, let's start. Then we shall see. So we want to have a listen. We, we just want to vibe with this before we start adding the baseline. So let's have a listen. Then we create that baseline in our mind. Then we just paste it there. So I got that. Something like that. So I'll start adding. Okay, this bass I don't like it. Let me go to my normal bass there up. Bass, then use this basic scene. So I'll just adjust this one, double click, then turn it down to 12, like that. Just a quarter of that. If you put it in a quarter step here, you shall see that goes there. So you just have that. <laughs> Ah, yeah. So if we have that, we shall we must just remove that one. Then Control B, like that. Then we shall have the full set here, like that, as you can see. So. All right, all right, all right. No, 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 no. Okay, we are heading there. I'll just bring this one to two. Okay, that one, I don't like it. I just don't want to be that complicated. Okay. Okay. So I got that simple bus there, like that. Let's just leave that first one out. So we just want to add some spicy things inside here like this.
so after that i just want to make this tutorial very short as you can see we have a nice progress here from the beginning to the end i just want to arrange this piece so i want to start it from low vibed to a very high vibe i just did those i just deleted okay we shall return this button here the percussion this is the percussion this is a kick this is the guitar this the the melody the the chords i mean so i also cut this one and paste it to pattern number six like that then i'll start i'll paste it here so we shall have something like this all right folks like that that like that then add uh, an FX clap there like that one then just the in like that Then I'll also remove this conga here, this long one, and paste it to another pattern. Then that one will start from here, like that. Yes, like that. Just remove the bars from that place. Then I'll add a drum roll. I'll just make it very quick. This I'll choose this one like that. Turn down the velocity. Keep it very simple. <laughs> Okay, we can hear that looping sound there. I think not that one. Not that one. This shit. I don't like that bass which is dropping after this long cut here so i'll just i want to modify my bass hey man okay you may book number five man
Thank you.